Right in the face. Oh! Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Kaboombas. Alright, I'm gonna... Hmm... <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so just as the uh, Jamie entries are here, we've got <laughs> people just like leaving their journal entries here. Uh, we got uh, Morgan's stuff. So we got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight journal entries. Bazoom. Exposition time, everybody. 500 cats from Talent Company for upfront expenses. What better upfront expense than a night in the ninth circle? A few beers, a few girls, some more beers, and all the best friends 500 caps can buy. It was a good party, sure enough, and not such a wasted evening as expected. Sometimes between dancing the, on the bar, oh, God, and uh, passing out, I remember showing the map to someone who's got better eyesight than me, apparently. Woke up this morning to find a note. Seems the hotel on the map is Tenpenny Tower. It does occur to me now that it was a hotel before the war. My fr friend... From the bar pointed out that Warrington Metro station is on the map. Although how he managed to see that, I don't know. It just looks like a dirty fingerprint to me. So it seems that's the direction I'm headed. I wonder if Gustavo remembers me. I don't imagine I'll be too welcome over there, but I might as well look in on the way. Alright, I guess we'll find out. What's going on? Started out for ten penny this morning, a nice day if a bit cold. Of course it's always cold in this damn in those damn tunnels, but safer than up top. Had to pay out fifty caps to some raider jerks to pass through. Their tunnels, assholes. Still talents paying. Didn't bother to stop in at Megaton much as I could have used a drink. I have no wish to see that two-faced scumbag Moriarty again. Besides, he might remember I owe him money. Went over to my old stomping ground at Fairfax instead. Thought I'd take some lunch over there, see if any of the old crew were still around. But man, that place has gone to hell. It never used to be like that. Back in the day, it was a stoner's paradise. Me and the gang used to go there to get jetted up. Billy, Debs, Arthur, Joey, and that half-feral girl that used to follow Joey about. What was her name? Ah, uh, those were the D's. Not a care in the world. I don't know what shit is going on there now. I don't want to know. Can't remember the last time I was so pleased to leave somewhere. Go away. I clicked on you. There you go. Well, Gustavo didn't, Gustavo didn't exactly roll out the red carpet. Jerk tried to pretend he didn't know me. Seems that ghouls aren't welcome at Tenpenny, much as I figured. He did, get, he did give me a bit of useful info. Seems I'm not the first dupe Talon has sent in this direction. Gustavo tells me two other chumps dropped in asking for directions. According to him, he sent them north and told them they could rest up at his security station on the way back. But get this, only one came back. He came back with half his face missing. <gasps> Seems that this uh, Dunwich place is infested with my dear feral brethren, and so now it becomes clear why that company of bigots wanted to help. Only a ghoul is going to be able to get in. Well, that's just great. I suppose those scumbags thought, oh yeah, he won't mind creeping around some stinking feral infested slum. After all, he's just like them. I don't suppose it would ever occur to them that I might hate ferals with a passion, that they make my skin crawl. Yeah, I know they're supposed to be okay with us, and I know there's people like Barrows who insist we should show compassion to the insane, but I've seen the way they look at you. There's something more than just mindlessness there, something malevolent, something dark that stares into your soul. The less I have to do with them, the better I like it. This will be 5,000 caps, very well earned, no mistake. For now, though, I shall just have to camp outside Tenpenny's front gate. At least Gustavo had the decency to give me a bottle of whiskey. Ran to some raiders this morning, don't know what they were doing to that guy, some sort of initiation by the looks of it. Why the hell anyone would want to join these crazies, I don't know. Could have been a bad situation, but I think they took a look at me and decided it wasn't worth a risk. Good call on their part. I may not move as quick as I used to, but I can still take out trash like them. One guy said there was a building north of here, some place that's got some bad mojo. So that sounds like my destination. Odd thing is, he said one of their gang went in the place on a dare while back and actually came back out alive. Alive but insane. If a writer says someone's insane, then you've got to believe he's really batshit crazy. What the hell could have happened? Not really a story I wanted to hear. I don't know why I took this job. Should have known they weren't paying that much money without a damn good reason. Nearly got my ass handed to me by a death claw this morning. Didn't know those things were found out this way. Man, for big mofos, they're quiet. Didn't think I'd actually be pleased to get inside this place, that's for sure. I can still hear it breathing just outside the door. Well, I'm in. Just hope I can get back out. Looks like I'm going to be camping in here overnight. Hope that damn thing's gone by tomorrow. You know, it occurs to me just sitting here listening. There's something, I don't know, not right about this place. I feel like someone's been watching me ever since I stepped inside. I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing it. This place is so damn cold. Feels like 
feels like something's happened in this building. Something wrong, something that should never have happened, something to just seep into the walls. Ugh, forget it. It's just that scare outside unsettled me. Back to the job at hand. The design department is what I'm supposed to be looking for. The design department? I guess I won't get far asking the guys in here for directions. The design department. Gonna write that down. The design department. I'm going to write that down. Yay. Fucking talent company. The entrance to the to the, uh, blah, 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 to the design place is only blocked off with about 10 tons of rubble. That's just great. Now I can add minor to my fucking resume. So I spent the entire day clearing crap and I'm not even half done. I haven't worked this hard since, well, I haven't worked this hard. My God, they want their caps worth. This place still gives me the creeps at least half a dozen times. I've jumped out of my skin or what's left of it thinking there's someone standing right beside me, behind me. Only to find nothing there. Someone please get, get me out of this shithole, please. This is starting to get too much for me. I finally managed to clear that stinking door and get inside only to find there's damned ferals in there too. Only these ones don't seem right. Usually they just ignore us. These came right over, sniffing around. I saw the look in their eyes and I got out of there pronto. Maybe they've been cut off so long in there that they only recognize each other. I don't know, but I'm not going waltzing in there again like that. The only thing I can think of is to try to sneak past them. It's pretty dark up there. And if you don't take a light, maybe they'll not see me. The place doesn't look very promising anyway. What are the chances of finding a working terminal in there? I'll give it a try tonight. A quick look if I don't... And if I don't see anything, I'm out of here. Tell them aren't paying me enough caps. Even at 5,000. I thought I said 50,000 before. I'm a liar. Come on, Vanessa. We're gonna get the crap scared out of us. <clears throat> I guess it's upstairs. Um, so this, I think, because I looked on the guide, this is the last part, and it seems like it's, it might be ending fairly abruptly. Because I think it says that the, uh, Finding the terminal is the fine is the final uh, thing for this whole for this whole uh, mod. So once we find this terminal, it's supposed to end, which is really odd. Hello. Hey. Hey. What? What? Where? What? Are you sorry? I'm shooting. Sure right, I'm taking that gun from Got you. Got something on your mind? Yeah. You should calm down. Stop being angry. Stop bouncing up yeah. and down. I'll give you ten millimeters. Microfusion cells. Well, I need my microfusion cells too. I should have brought microfusion. Right, yeah, you get half. Now you get a third. There you go. Now you're good to blow. I've oh got my god. <laughs> oh, Reaver's great. Wow. Keep shooting, girl. They're skipping towards us. Some help with this one. Yeah, don't worry, I'm shooting too, ma'am. Oh, Reavers. You're hard as hell in this game. <laughs> oh, crap. Phew. I'm glad that's over. Blow the heads up. I don't trust these ghouls. Good. All right, well, don't blow that one's head up, I guess. Cause I'll do it. Oh God, this is not gonna be good. Hey! Behind us! Where? Behind us! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> you to mess with me. Saving the day.
Yeah, could you not whistle? It's creepy as hell. Where? There, shoot right the there. Pins. Just shoot him! Where are you going? Shoot him, you idiot! You're the worst! Uh. Oh. oh my god, I don't wanna... Oh. I hate you so much. <laughs> Come on, let's just go. Oh, you're fighting. Oh dear, this one you do need help with. I'm glad that's over. You're welcome. My gun's gonna break. Alright, we came in here. We went down there. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Have a good day now. Had enough. You show him, Vanessa. You show him good. Uh, you show him, but Jesus Christ. Well, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Ah, uh, no, why, this, I don't like this at all, ah, oh, crap, this is either going to be really, no, it's a terminal, it's, it doesn't say read terminal, it says activate terminal, because of the guide, the guide just says activate the terminal, this concludes, I really don't. Huh? Something's gonna like explode and scare the shit out of me. I'm gonna crap my pants. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Jay Carter presentation notes. No, this can't be it. Improve results against steel. Reinforce concrete as predicted within prescribed tolerance. Blah, 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 blah. Boring, boring. Uh. Oh. Shit. I can't read that. Congratulations on reaching the end of the main quest for Alien Resurrection Part 1. All uncompleted quests from the Talon base and elsewhere remain active and available. Continue your journey of investigation in Alien Resurrection Part 2! Oh. Oh. Trial location. Point lookout. Late September 2077. Parameters. Natural gas extraction. Team to be determined. That's what we're here for. Holiday prize drawn for team volunteers. We did it, Vanessa. We did it. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, uh, I hope you guys are excited for Alien Resurrection Part 2. I know I am. I cannot wait to discover the secret of the aliens. I do not. I think aliens... Some, well, some of you said that this doesn't have to do anything with aliens, or it means, like, illegal aliens, like immigrants. So, everyone, that has been... <laughs> Alien Resurrection Part 1. Mmm. And uh, when Part 2 is released, I will definitely play it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, uh, can't wait to see what the mod author cooks up for our second part. And uh, maybe he'll have some improvements. But otherwise, um, his map making skills and uh, everything else, pretty ridiculous. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, not exactly the... Uh, the bang in the buck that we thought it was going to end with, but, you know, that's, <laughs> that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for staying with me, those of you who did through this entire playthrough. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the Dunwich future. Oh!